Well, this is the uh, FT101E that I've called Mo, and I'm not getting received on quite a number of the bands, so I've been investigating what the situation is with that. And what I've got hooked up today is a frequency counter going to the test point of the RF board, and I'll just come down there so you can see where that test point is. And uh, we've got a ground to the chassis, and currently I'm in the 40, uh, 80 meter band, and I'm checking the frequency that I should be seeing, uh, the crystal frequency, and I'm using my frequency counter for that. And as you can see on the 80 meter band, uh, it's uh, moving all around the place, and that should be stable and static, and should in fact be 9.52. But I'll just go through the bands and we'll have a look, uh, see what the frequencies are. Uh, we're going to 40 now. And again, uh, quite a bit of movement around there. The 40 meter frequency should be 13.02 and steady. Uh, coming to 20 meters now. And that's what I'm looking for. Uh, the frequency should be 20.02 megahertz. So that's a very close uh, proximity to where it needs to be. 15 should be 27.02. And it's stable, but 45 meg. So there's a problem to be sorted out there. Uh, next we'll go to 11 metres, this has got uh, the 11 metre fitted as standard, 33.02, so correct. Next one is 10A, 34.01 or 34.02, so we're pretty close there. 10B should be 34.520, and there we are. 10C should be 35.02, and there we are, 35.0194. 10D should be 35.52. Clicking across there, 35.519.2. Uh, then WWV, that's moving around as well. Uh, and lastly is 160, and that's all over the place as well. So that's what I'm getting. And uh, next I'm looking at the trimmer deck, which is in the underside of this radio, uh, to see uh, if those capacitors can be uh, tweaked and repaired.